Well, we're back in Psalm 119 this morning, and uh, I've just been thinking about how people make their decisions and what they promote, what they're about. I think during the political season, it's really difficult to see what people use as their rule of thumb or their baseline for, for what to vote for, what not to vote for. Our world is filled with such confusing messages. How can we actually uh, find a, a, a straight line of direction? Uh, and, and God says it's found in his word. And so as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you can actually determine exactly which direction God would have you go on any of the issues, on any of the anything that you face during a day. It really has nothing to do with politics, although it shapes our, our political thinking. <clears throat> I want to encourage you, though, to listen as I read, and you'll discover as I read. I won't even really have to tell you, but I will. Uh, as I read, you're going to discover it uh, all on your own. Look what it says. And, and ladies, don't, don't misunderstand this young man. It's not a young man only thing. It's a, how can a young person, okay? So, uh, so verse number nine in Psalm 119 says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. <clears throat> I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Powerful, powerful truths uh, contained in just a short amount of verses. Uh, he says, Where can, how, how can a young person keep their way uh, clean and pure? Uh, by taking heed to God's word. Uh, with my whole heart have I sought thee. It says, oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Think about that. Our hearts are prone to wander. We wander off from what God would have us do. Uh, and so we'll set our decisions based on our wanderings instead of his word. But there is a solution to that problem. And it's something that we have to be diligent about. He says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Did you realize that most people today are very ignorant of what God's word says? Or <clears throat> they are no longer believing that it holds value or, or that it's actually true for everyone at all times. And so they're excusing themselves either by omission or by rejection from what God's word says. And then then they're, they're free to do whatever their heart tells them to do. And unfortunately, the Bible tells us that our heart is deceitful. It's, it's desperately wicked. It wants what it wants, whether God wants that or not. And so we have to learn how to use God's word. And the only way we can do that is if we bury it deep in our hearts, that we not just uh, read about it every once in a while or hear a message when it's convenient, but that we bury it deep in our hearts. Uh, he says, I have rejoiced in, thy, in the way of thy testimonies as much as is all riches. Think about that. Uh, God's word is as valuable, if not more valuable, than all riches that you could ever attain to in any other way. And so he says, I'll meditate on your precepts and I will have respect unto your ways. To have respect unto, you, unto someone else's ways is to yield yourself to those ways. And God says he wants us to yield ourselves to his ways, no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the issue, no matter what it does to me and my life and those that I care about. I must respect God's ways above the ways that I think are best. And as I said yesterday, uh, that, that we need to learn how to yield to God's ways instead of demanding that God yield to ours. I've seen a lot of things, social media reveals a lot about us. And I've seen a lot of you posting that you want certain things that are in direct violation of God's word. And the Bible tells us we need to yield to it. Well, the only way we're gonna yield to it is if we know it. The only way we're gonna know it is if we bury it deep in our hearts. That way we don't wander off. And so I want to encourage you today. Spend a little extra time in God's word. Be a little more devoted today. Because it really does matter. God really does care. He wants us to walk by his ways. Imagine if everyone on the planet walked by God's ways. The difference it would make. 
And let's begin with ourselves. I'm going to start with me. You start with you. Let's walk in God's ways today. Have a great day.